So between Google Bard and ChatGPT, which one is the better AI solution? Well, when it first launched, I mean, chat blew us all away because up until that point, I mean, we as consumers had never seen anything like it. And so it seemed like the bar was set pretty high. Doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> However, since the release of Bard, I mean, Google has captured plenty of praise for their technology, you know, like really positioning themselves as a clear contender in the AI chatbot world, which makes sense, right? I mean, it's Google. Google's going to do awesome things, right? But the question remains, which one is the more dominant machine and which one are you going to probably use going forward? Well, go ahead and hit that like button because today we're going to answer those questions and more as we determine between Google Bard and ChatGPT who should be crowned champion of the AI chatbot. So let's just go ahead and jump in. So in many ways, I mean, Google Bard and ChatGPT are actually a lot alike. I mean, they're both very user friendly. I mean, with either one, all you have to do is type in a simple prompt to start getting a response. I mean, really easy, right? And both have a very simple interface. So like when you land on their home screen, you're not like distracted or overwhelmed with numerous features that could confuse the average user. So it's obvious to me that both organizations put some thought into simplifying their technology so that the learning curve was very, very low for their customers, which I can appreciate. But after playing around with both, I began to see some significant differences. And it is those differences that made one of these AI chatbots really stand out to me as a clear winner. So to start, uh, the first significant difference is in their pricing model. Google Bard and ChatGPT both have a free level, but Chat also has a paid level. Now, if you're unfamiliar, the cost to upgrade to ChatGPT Plus is $20 per month. And although that can seem costly in comparison to free, in the big scheme of things, that's actually pretty uh, that's actually a pretty low price to get access to such a groundbreaking piece of technology. But with that said, Google Bard is completely free. So, you know, what do you get for forking over your 20 bananas per month? Well, according to the ChatGPT website, your Plus membership comes with general access during peak hours. Um, you get faster response times and priority access to new features and improvements. Cool. But the reason I upgraded was to get access to ChatGPT4, which is advertised as being a more advanced machine than like, you know, the free version. and. I wanted to get access to their third party apps. Now, Chat has a growing list of apps that can be connected to their technology, like Expedia and OpenTable, but the app I was like most excited about was Bing Search Engine. You see, out of the box, Chat GPT is not by default connected to the internet. And so when you ask Chat something generic, like give me five ideas on how I can improve my credit score. Chat can give you a meaningful answer from data it has accumulated through its years of machine modeling. But if your goal is to ask Chat something that requires knowledge of a, of a recent event like give me five recent news articles on credit repair, then you'll need that search engine add-on. So I was super excited to connect the Bing search engine to ChatGPT and you know for $20 a month, again, it's actually not a bad deal. But Google Bard is free. And so with Google Bard, you get access to their most advanced machine because I mean, technically they only have one machine. And for now, it would seem that free users get access to features and updates without any restrictions. And Google Bard comes automatically with internet access. I mean, their technology is already connected to their Google search engine without needing to upgrade or anything like that. I mean, having Google search connected to Bard is a huge leg up on ChatGPT in my opinion. And so out of the box, Google Bard comes with more features at the free level than ChatGPT. And for most users, I mean, the free Bard is gonna offer more value than the free ChatGPT. Now, another significant difference I found between these two AI uh, chatbots was in their responses to a couple of prompts I fed them. So I asked ChatGPT and Google Bart, since they're both connected to the internet, to send me today's top breaking news stories. And here's what I got. 
First, this is what Google Bar gave me in response to that prompt. I mean, you can see right here, I received a healthy list of random news stories. I mean, that was kind of expected to be honest with you. But when I asked chat the same thing, check this out. Here's what I received. I noticed that the headlines were all stories from Canada, even though I'm in the United States. Now, you could argue that I should have been a little bit more specific and you could be right. But, you know, for this query, I mean, I feel that Bar gave me a more relevant result. Also, I felt that Google Bar gave me the response much, much more quicker. I asked chat to give me today's top US news stories. And I mean, you can see right here, like I waited and waited and waited some more until finally, almost three minutes later, I received my results. Now, I know, I know, I shouldn't be complaining about three minutes, but when I asked Bard the same thing, I mean, you can see right here, it only took a few seconds. So for prompts that require internet browsing, it would seem that Bard was much, much more faster. And I feel that Bard gave me a more relevant result without the need for greater specification. Now, the next prompt I wanted to test with both was to write a short blog post. First, I asked Bard to write about the benefits of crypto. And I mean, within seconds, I received an article that filled my request and included sources, which was cool. Uh, here's a small excerpt. <clears throat> Cryptocurrency is a digital or virtual currency that uses cryptography for security. A cryptocurrency is difficult to counterfeit because of this security feature. A defining feature of a cryptocurrency and arguably its most enduring allure is its organic nature. Hmm. Not bad, but not that good either. <laughs> uh, this article would be a good start to a blog post, but it sounds too robotic to me and would need a physical human to revise it to make it sound more natural. So I asked chat, um, and this is the chat GPT-4 version, to write about the benefits of Bitcoin. And within a flash, I mean, I was provided an article. And here's a sample of what I received. Bitcoin has been making waves since it was introduced in 2009 by the elusive Satoshi Nakamoto. As the first and most recognized cryptocurrency, it's paved the way for a digital revolution that challenges traditional financial systems. In this article, we explore the numerous benefits of Bitcoin that are contributing to its rapidly growing adoption worldwide. Wow. I mean, this is actually pretty good in my opinion. Although it would probably get flagged through like an AI checker tool, the words used like in this chat GPT paragraph was much more natural than the Bard article. Um, and so although both articles would still require some form of human refining, you know, the chat GPT article was written at a more sophisticated level, you know, in my opinion. Therefore, when it comes to generative writing, I believe chat is better on this point. So the final prompt I wanted to test was asking each chatbot something silly and, you know, conversational. The idea here was to determine if I could tell I was talking to a chatbot or not. So I asked, how's your day going? First, from ChatGPT, I received the following. <clears throat> As an AI, I don't have personal experiences or emotions, so I don't have good or bad days. However, I'm here to assist you with any questions or tasks you have. How can I help you today? Wow. I mean, unlike the blog post that chat wrote, I mean, this response is deeply robotic. I know that I'm chatting with an AI, but the cold response that I received made me feel like I was dumb for asking and was like wasting chat's time or something. <laughs> Um, so I posed the same question to Bard and here's what I got. My day is going well. Thank you for asking. I'm excited to be able to help people with their tasks and answer their questions. I'm still under development, but I am learning new things every day. I'm grateful for the opportunity to learn and grow. How's your day going? Wow. I mean, Bard's response was much more welcoming and pleasant. Again, Unlike its blog post, this response feels like I'm talking to a real person. I'm actually impressed that Bard showed like some enthusiasm by using an exclamation point in its response. And I like that it was polite enough to ask about my day. So overall, here are my thoughts on the clear winner. You know, although both technologies are absolutely phenomenal and can offer value to anybody who utilizes it, 
To me, Google Bard is overall a better solution. Now, I really like ChatGPT because of its ability to generate content that sounds very natural. And the fact that you can expand chat with third-party apps that are already available is fascinating and makes their environment even more robust. But that comes at a cost. I mean, a small cost, but nevertheless a cost. And I feel that the app most people will want to connect to is a search engine. And that comes standard with the free version of Bard. Bard already has the Google search engine connected at no cost and no additional steps needed, which will be very useful for most. And here's an added benefit to that connection. Google Bard is constantly learning through its integration with Google. Basically, in terms of data, Bard is maturing every day while chat, on the other hand, relies on the data it has accumulated up until 2021. You know, a lot has happened since 2021 and will continue to occur. And at some point, that data just may not be enough. I don't know. What do you think? Um, so again, in this competition, Bard is the winner, but I still believe that both have their strengths and I'll continue to use both going forward. But let me know your thoughts. I mean, which AI solution do you think is the best? Please let me know in the comments. Also, what impacts do you see AI having on society? Please also let me know in the comments. And lastly, I want to thank you for your time. Your time is so valuable to me. So I do hope you found value. And until next time.